In this video, I'm going to show you five hidden Easter eggs in Windows 11. You know what? I'm feeling generous. I'm going to sprinkle in one bonus, so let's make it six. All right, in no particular order, let's start off with number one. Go ahead and open up your Microsoft Edge browser. Just when you thought Edge was good for nothing, I'm going to show you why it's actually better than Chrome and at least one way. So if we type in edge colon forward forward slash and go surf, surf's up guys, let's play. I think this is better than the Chrome Dino game in my opinion. So you can play this as long as you want. It'll save your high score. There's even settings to pause with space and then we can go here to the gear and we can share this with a friend and there's other information here as well. We can reduce the speed, do high visibility. So really cool, maybe the best feature in Microsoft Edge at this point. Let me know if you guys knew about this particular feature in Windows 11 or Microsoft Edge in general. All right guys, if you're enjoying this type of content, before we move on to the next Easter egg, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share this with your friends so that you guys can have a surf off competition. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, for number two, we're gonna enter God mode. Put on your Zeus hat and grab your lightning bolt because it's on. All right, do a new folder, guys, and you're going to give it a very specific name. Feel free to pause and take a look at that. Yes, you do need the curly brackets there. Go ahead and hit enter, and you'll see the icon change, and you just entered God mode. So when you open this up, it opens a very special control panel that has all the settings in one place. I know this isn't a brand new Easter egg, but I still think it's one of the coolest ones out there. Let me know if you guys knew about this one. All right, keeping it a little bit lighter for number three here, not God mode, but we do have a really cool feature that not everyone knows about. Windows key plus the period or the dot, and that'll get you into the hidden, not really hidden, but the uh, built-in emojis window. It's more than emojis, though. We have GIFs here as well. We've got, uh, how do, however you say this, K emojis, symbols, all kinds of cool stuff, so you can search for things. Uh, maybe you need a GIF for something that's trending, Hey, speaking of trending, look at this. We got the old Hak Tua. Uh, yeah, I'm sure if you're on the internet, you've heard of this. It's just crazy what goes viral. But anyways, guys, if you need a cool GIF or a, um, emoji, this is definitely the place to go. So again, Windows key plus period or Windows key plus semicolon, and that'll get you right into that menu. All right, moving on to the next hidden feature here. This one takes a little bit of work to really get it going, but... I think if you take the time to set this up, I remember doing this way back in the day and I had some really cool features. If you take the time, I think it is really cool and it will set your OS apart from the rest of them. So if we go into our settings and then we go into system and then we go to sound and scroll down to more sound settings and that'll open the sound control panel. If you go to sounds, these are all your default sounds here, right? And you only see one profile or sound scheme that is. You can start changing these things, guys. And it really, like I said, customizes and sets you apart. So let's say you had like a new mail notification. So that's the sound it makes when you get uh, a new piece of mail in Microsoft Windows. But you can change that to anything in here. But what makes it even cooler, we can browse for a WAV file. So let's say you wanted to download You've Got Mail or something like that, right? You plug in any WAV file you want. And now anytime you get mail, you'll have You've Got Mail or whatever you've plugged in. And you can do this across all of your different notifications and uh, different alerts and events and things like that where it makes a sound. And then even when there's things that don't have a sound currently, we can plug a sound in. So like I said, this is really a way to customize your operating system to make it super unique. And maybe you just want to do this to someone else to play a prank so it plays a funny sound every time they do something. And then once you're done, you could save as and give it a new name for that scheme. And then you can easily flip back between the default and your new scheme. I think this really sets yours apart from all the other Windows 11 instances. Let me know what you think. All right, moving on to number five of the hidden Easter eggs in Windows 11. This one is pretty darn hidden. I don't think many people know about this at all. It's a super long path, by the way. So you're going to do C users and then your user profile, app data, local, 
packages microsoft.windows.contentdeliverymanager underscore CW5N1H2TXYEWY. And we'll hit enter. That'll bring you into this folder. All right, from here, we want to go into the local state and then assets. And what the heck is this? Well, these are actually hidden wallpapers within Microsoft Windows 11. So they just look like files, but check this out. Let's just go ahead and rename one of these to a .jpg. Look at that. Sitting and hiding in plain sight. Now we have this really cool waterfall. These are some of the ones used on the lock screen, and they get cached or they get uh, saved on your hard drive. So I bet a lot of people out there didn't know about this one. So check that out if you're interested. All right, that rounded out five hidden Easter eggs in Windows 11, but let's do one bonus. For this one, we're going to create a new notepad file. So just go ahead and type in notepad, open that up. And I've already typed it out here. So I'll do it again for you. Why not? First thing I do is at echo off, and then you're going to do color 02. Then you do colon start. And now you're going to type in echo and percent random percent. Just copy that a couple times here. Let's do about eight of these. That should be sufficient. And then we'll say go to start. And now you want to do file save as. Save it wherever you want. I'm going to put mine right on the desktop. Make sure you drop this part down. Go to all files. And we'll just call this matrix.bat. Anytime you want to enter the matrix now, all you do is double click that icon. And boom, you are now Neo. I've shown you a few ways to do this in some other videos. A uh, little cooler effects for sure than this. But this is a native way without any third party utilities or tricks or anything like that where you can create a matrix effect right in your Windows 11 operating system. All right, guys, those were five plus a bonus, so six hidden Easter eggs in Windows 11. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, feel free to share this with your friends. First of all, that helps the channel immensely. Uh, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm really trying to hit a goal of 10,000 this year, and I definitely need all your support. Uh, speaking of support, if you want to support the channel even more, feel free to check out my shop, bootableusbs.com. If you're into tech, IT, anything like that, uh, give it a look. I've got some really cool flash drives up there that come pre-configured with all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, Multi-boot solutions, you name it. There's all kinds of stuff jam-packed in there. Uh, give it a look, bootableusbs.com. All right, guys, let me know if you have some other hidden Easter eggs in Windows 11 that I should be focusing on in a future video. Till the next one, hope you all have a great day. Take care.